Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Red Dead Online and I'm going to be talking about the five bravest horses in Red Dead Online. Now this is something that's been requested a decent amount both on my other video where I just talk about the best horses stat wise for most of what you're going to encounter in the game and also on quite a few other videos. People seem to want to know what horses are going to be the bravest in combat or hunting around animals and stuff. So basically when we say bravery there's no shown bravery stat and uh, a lot of people say that it's random so you'll buy one horse the exact coat and breed and it'll be great and then later you'll get it again and it'll be terrible. It's really hard to say which ones are actually going to be best if you believe that method but for me the experience has been decently consistent as long as I stick with the same breeds and the coats. Also it's important to keep in mind that performance on your horses is going to be a lot of it is going to be determined by the saddle so you're going to either want to go with the Nakadoche saddle which is what I've got on this horse right here or the Upland saddle. Both of them are going to be excellent. Everybody likes to go back and forth on how good they are. Obviously if you use the Nakadoche you've got to use the hooded stirrups to get the max benefits out of it but yeah just got to make sure you're using one of those really good saddles and then you're going to want to make sure that your bonding is at max with the horses because it's just going to improve their stats the best and seems to help with their bravery as well in addition to that it's important to take care of your horse you got to make sure you keep it clean you got to make sure you keep it fed and if it gets injured use a horse tonic heal that bad boy up keep your relationship with the horse good and its stats seem to work out better in the game so with all of those things in mind let's just get into the horses that i think are definitely the bravest in red dead online all right, and so starting us off at number five, we have the Turkoman. And I picked the Dark Bay just because I think it looks the best. But uh, if you want to go for the higher end ones, this one costs 40 gold. It's such a good looking horse. I want it, but it costs 40 gold. So I can't, uh, I can't justify spending that much on a horse. But anyway, they all have the same stats as far as their speed, acceleration, health, all that, and stamina go. So all of them are going to be decent horses. In fact, if you watched my best horses video, this one is on there for quite a few things, just because it is one of the best horses in the game. And I also believe it looks the best. It just it's a very beautiful looking horse with all that in mind it's also a decently brave horse this one is not going to really compete too much with the other four on this list in pure bravery because it still will spook but the thing about the turkoman is even when it gets scared by predators that get relatively close and are attacking it, as long as you keep it calm, it'll usually keep running straight and you'll stay on it. It won't try to buck you usually. If you let it get freaked out, you don't calm it in time and you're not taking care of it or maybe its health was really low going into it or it was really hungry. Any of those situations, you might get bucked, but I almost never get bucked using the Turkoman. So if you just want a standard horse that's good at all the other stuff too, is real fast, can run for a long time, the Turkoman is great and it's pretty dang brave out of what most people consider to be the best horses. So Missouri Foxtrotter, Norfolk Roadster, Turkoman, Mustang Arabian, out of all those horses that most people will consider to be kind of the best horses in the game, just overall, Turkoman is the bravest one, at least in my experience. So if uh, if that's what you're going for and you don't like the bigger, bulkier horses that are going to make up the rest of this list, then the Turkoman is the way to go. And like I said, I think the Dark Bay looks the best. Don't get me wrong, I think actually this is the one breed where all of the coats look pretty good. I love that black one, but like I said, 40 gold's pretty steep. But that chestnut one is real cool. That That's a nice looking coat and even the Perlino is is decent if you like the lighter horses and of course a lot of people like the classic gold in any case I had to put this one on here because like I said it is pretty brave as long as you manage it pretty well and it's great at everything else so at number five I put the Turkoman so at number four we have the first one that's going to be coming from the war horse category and it's the Perlino Andalusian and uh, now you could use either the uh, rose gray or the Perlino but the rose gray costs gold and from what I understand their bravery is not different it's generally similar so that's why I went with the Perlino it's got kind of a pink coat, so I guess if uh, if that doesn't bother you, then this one's an interesting one to go with. It's got a real good health core. It only costs $475, which is not that expensive for a horse that's pretty decent like this. Like I said, its health core is good, its stamina is okay, but this one is where you're going to start getting into the ones that are quite a bit better in combat. This is the ones where even if you're being shot at, completely surrounded, this one's not likely to buck, it's not likely to start screaming and neighing like a lot of the other horses in the game will, and it, if you get off of it in combat, all horses will run away if you get off of them in combat but this is where they don't go very far it'll run just to a slight distance so if you call it it'll come back even in combat and it comes back pretty quick and that's either with animals so dangerous animals or people with guns so that's why uh the perlino andalusian makes my list at number four so at the middle at number three i have the steel gray breton and this is going to be one of the bounty hunter horses that gets unlocked at level 20 and this costs 950 dollars, but it is worth it this is where we start getting into the real god tier 
frontier territory for horses that are much cooler in combat. Not only that, it's got really good stats just overall. So if you look at uh, at its stats down there for speed and acceleration, that's not bad. That competes with some of the people who consider the best horses like the Norfolk Roadster and the Turkoman and the other, other real nice horses that people consider. A lot of people sleep on the Breton considering it actually has really, really good stats. In fact, it might be what I consider to be just the all-around best horse in the game. I know I might not have included it at number one in my previous video about the best horses, but the more I look at it and the more I consider bravery being important, the more I honestly think the Steel Gray Breton it might be the best horse in the game. But in any case, uh, as far as a couple other things about it, like I said, it's very brave in combat. This is one that will sit there getting shot at and will not move. So that can be a good thing and can be a bad thing because if you don't want your horse to die and maybe you're not paying super close attention, it, it might stand there and die. But if you need your horse to stand still, this one's a good one for it. As well as uh, I've tested it quite a bit with animals and I've gotten it right up next to alligators and other than just the occasional whinny that it might be like, whoa, you know there's an alligator right here. It doesn't stamp, doesn't rear up. I haven't been bucked off by it. I, I've been, I've had wolves surrounding it on all sides, nipping at it while I'm trying to run through and it doesn't try pulling me off to the side, doesn't buck me off, doesn't bolt away. It's, it's a very cool under pressure horse. The only thing that has spooked this horse so far when I've been on it is either a cougar or a panther. If they come right at you, especially when they jump on you, that will, I've had it spook me on a Breton. It doesn't every time. Uh, in fact, just a few days ago, I was riding through Scarlet Meadows and got attacked by a panther and it didn't spook the horse at all. Like the horse reared a little bit to the side, did kind of one of those sidestep things, but I still had control over it and was able to quickly ride away. And since it's got decent acceleration, I was able to get away from the Panther without, you know, any issue. This one is pretty dang good. It's going to fit most people's needs just stat wise. And also it's very, very brave. So that is the one that I have at number three. Let's move on to number two. So at number two, I have the silver clad Ruber. Now for the, a lot of people really like the clad Ruber horses. I'm one of them. I think they work very well. I think they look pretty good and uh they're all decently brave but when you go down in them you start getting into like you see the stats dropping off until these two the black and the white ones black one being probably my favorite looking one but these two ones being real popular coats actually have pretty bad stats when you look at their speed and acceleration these are pretty slow horses they don't have a very high top speed and they don't have a very good acceleration their health and stamina are both halfway but they're not decent horses when you get up these ones start getting a little bit better and again they look really nice and their their stats just go up a little bit but the silver and the dapple rose gray both actually have pretty dang good stats as far as just horses in general in the game go and they're all also very bright. These ones are going to be a lot like the Breton in that A, they cost $950 just like the Breton does, and B, you need to be a bounty hunter rank 20 to get to unlock these ones. But these ones are super brave in combat, just like the Bretons are. They don't buck or run when they get shot. So it's going to be a lot like the Breton. It's just going to stand there and take it, which like I said, might be bad. Your horse might end up dying, but at least you can count on it to stay cool under pressure. And this one, just like that last one, I've tested it with alligators. I've tested it with wolves. I've even had a grizzly bear be real close to me on this and the horse did not buck me off it didn't spook it stayed totally under control in every encounter i've used the clad rubber quite a bit going back all the way to basically when the bounty hunter rolls came out because as soon as i leveled up i got the higher level clad rubber and i've used it a lot ever since in fact that horse i was riding at the beginning is a silver clad rubber they're excellent horses and i think a lot of people don't take them into consideration when they're considering horses in general i think it might be because their noses are kind of funny shaped but they have great stats overall and they're really brave so if you're looking for a brave, ho brave horse and you're a level 20 bounty hunter you cannot go wrong with the silver or the dapple rose gray clad rubber. I prefer the silver, but either one's really nice. So that's number two, the second best in the game. Let's move on to number one, the best one I could find as far as bravery is concerned. So at number one, we have this kind of reddish pinking, lo pinkish looking horse, the Strawberry Roan Arden. And I don't think a lot of people have tried this one, A, because it costs 18 gold, and B, because it's kind of a reddish pinkish horse, so it looks a little silly. Trust me, if you're looking for bravery, you cannot beat this horse. I have never had it spook ever. I've, I, like, I've been attacked by cougars, bears, wolves, alligators stepped on rattlesnakes been shot directly at had the horse hit in the head and almost die and it has never once bucked me off or bolted away it's just an excellent horse like i said any horse that you get off of during combat will trot out of the line of fire this one does not go very far and you whistle for it and it comes right back so this is in my mind without a doubt the bravest horse in the game i have one and i you know obviously had to wait until i had 18 gold bars that i was willing to part with to get a horse but when i did it was totally worth it i use this horse for hunting uh, whenever i'm doing my trading trying to fill up stuff or hunting legendary animals or bounty hunting it's pretty decent for too i mean i arguably like the 
the Breton and the Cladruber for bounty hunting better just because they're faster horses. This one is not nearly as fast as them, but it is super brave. So if you're sick of getting bucked off, you're sick of your horse freaking out every time you get near something and neighing super loud, if you're sick of all of that, then this one's the way to go. The Bayron is not a good substitute. The Bayron Arden is a bad horse. Don't buy it. I cannot say that sternly enough. A, the stats are worse than the already not great stats of the Strawberry Roan one, and B, it does not seem to be brave. I would make it comparable to a Tennessee Walker in bravery. It freaks out, it neighs, it runs away as soon as it's shot. I can't recommend the Bay Roan, but the Strawberry Roan is an excellent horse. I think that's why it's 18 gold, because you wouldn't think so given the weird color of it and it's not super great stats, but it just, it doesn't scare. I've never had it scare. I've had Panthers jump right on me and I didn't get taken off the horse by the horse. The Panther took me off the horse and then the horse trotted there. It didn't even run away. So like I, like I said, I cannot stress how this one is obviously the bravest horse in the game. I know a lot of people will argue that it's not, and I think those people would argue that one of the other ones I've already listed on this list is, but trust me, if you've got the gold to spend and you have been looking for a horse that's going to be really brave, this one will serve you correctly. It unlocks at rank 36, so you don't have to be a very high level to get it. Like I said, it's 18 gold, but it is the best war horse for combat and hunting. Almost never. I can't say absolutely never, but 99.9% .9 of the time, this thing is not going to buck you off, as long as you've got it well fed, you've been taking care of it and you're at the max level affinity for it that is uh the number one ranking so again in order that that ranking was at number five the turkoman i use the dark bay but really any turkoman will work number four the perlino and illusion number three the steel gray breton which again is that level 20 bounty hunting horse number two the silver clad rubber which again is a level 20 bounty hunting horse and at number one this one right here the strawberry roan arden so that's really all there is to say about bravery in the game like i said you're going to want to make sure you're putting a good saddle on these horses because stat wise they're going to need it more than a lot of your higher end racing horses or just the really good multi-use horses are because they're not as fast and they don't have as much a stamina and acceleration as a lot of those other horses but if you're sick of getting bucked off and you're sick of your horse making a ton of noise and you're sick of your horse darting away as soon as combat starts and having to wait forever for it to get back in range so you can get back on it and hopefully not die then these horses are going to be a great start for you like i said the turkoman is just what i consider the best of the best horses so it's it's out of all of the horses horses that are just overall the best that one's got the best bravery and then all of the rest of these horses are just really really good when it comes to being brave so if you like this video definitely leave a like rating i hope you found it useful i hope if you were looking for a video about bravery that this one is the one you got to see because i think it's definitely the best one out there if you have any suggestions or anything you think i missed uh as far as these horses or any other brave horses are concerned please let me know down in the comment section and of course if you haven't already definitely subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because that's how you get to see fantastic videos like this on a daily basis. Uh, at the moment, I've been paying a lot of attention to Red Dead Online because it's a great game, and I think there's a lot to be said about what actually already exists in this game. So, with all that in mind, thanks for watching and have a nice day, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.